So we are looking at team of the season, faux fan, a high, high, four star, four star. I can play CDM or center mid. He has got some outrageous defensive stats here. Look at this, 97 interception, 84 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle. His stamina, strength, aggression in the perfect place. Composure in a really good pace. Yes, the agility balance is something to be worried about, but we'll see if that's going to be a problem today. In terms of traits, nothing too crazy there. We've gone for a shadow, and let's have a look on Footbin, the reason why. As you can see, it gives him 96 acceleration and 96 sprint speed, as well as 96 pace overall, of course. Boosts up those defensive stats, and as we can see here, it makes him into a 95 rated CDM. But we'll talk about Chem Styles pricing, what I thought about the card, and much more at the end of review on Footbin as well. That being said, let's go jump into some foot champs and have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Night, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are playing in foot champs. We're going for the league, uh, the league earned, sorry, objective where you have to get yourself 13 wins of a league earned team. We're going to be playing in our 4 triple two. So he's going to be playing as a CDM, but we are going to be also, of course, driving forward with him when we can. Here's our opponent's team with the R9 up front and Janola on the left-hand side. Very, very nice. And his main job is to sit in his pocket, win us the ball in terms of defensiveness, and then drive into transition when we can. As you see, he takes really big strides. A little bit sloppy on that left stick dribbling, I have to say. We'll see if that's a problem in a minute. So we do get ourselves through here. Oh, good tackle from the Coleman. And I see his recovery speed. Good block there. Winning that ball as well. We get ourselves out of situation here. Right. Sissoko's recovery speed is absolutely lightning fast. Like here, for example. Driving in, winning that ball, keeping it on the pitch, and now we get ourselves on the way and attack. And that's something we need our CDM to do is bully our opponent's attackers. It's a poor pass from Mbappe there. And get ourselves in a transition to attack. Fortunately, we have gone 1-0 down to Bernardo Silva. Our opponent is playing very, very well in his attacking mode. Not a problem. You can't stop all shots here. As the second picks up the loose ball, driven pass into striker. That's a really good pass. Got ourselves a lovely transition here. And we've blown it. That's a poor shot from me. But what a pass from Sissoko into the transition. And unfortunately, R9 has got another one here. We are not having a very good game here. Opponent is super sweaty with this mega team. We need to really step up here. Fofana has been doing his job. It's the rest of the players that are letting us down, unfortunately. Sissoko picks a loose ball up. Straight away into transition. Ah, it's a poor pass from Mbappe again. Great tackle there from Fofana. Throws his body on the line. Now we've got says a counter-attack. And we get says another foul there. Fofana from range. And a great save from the goalkeeper. We needed that goal. Yeah, Fofana picks it up. Little turn. Gone for the power shot. It's blocked. Keeping that pressure on though. And another wonder save from the goalkeeper. Francis Oko. Bit of skill, but it's a really bad skill animation. A bit slow in the skill animation. Again, to be expected. Keeping that pressure on, no great tackle. Now we've got the transition. Now to go reset the attack. Fofana here. Send him down to the deck. Oh, that's a good pass, but we couldn't quite get through. And that is half time. So sizoko has been doing his job fine, but you can't stop the R9. Our goalkeeper cannot catch a cold. We've got this team of the season, Samba, in goal, and he's possibly the worst keeper I've ever used. Uh, like I said, our opponent's literally put in every single shot he's had, and we seem to be 3-0 down. We've green time shots inside the box. They have not gone in. So we're doing our job. In terms of Fofana, he's winning every tackle that he needs to be. Really good going into transition. But when your luck's not in, your luck's not in. And basically, the goals that we've conceded are not in his hands. There's nothing he can do about it. He's not made any mistakes for us. He's done his job. He's managed to crack on. And we've been extremely unlucky in this. But let's see if we can turn our luck around in the second half. We do need a big miracle here. And we need to stop this trophy Titans R9. That is for sure. Fofana keeping that pressure on. Wins the ball back again. Again, just winning that tackle every time. Getting a transition on the attack. Back to Fofana because there's nowhere to go. A little pass in. Reset the attack again. Get a shot off and there's a lovely goal there. And that's from Fofana winning that tackle. Now we've got ourselves a good game on our hands. See if we can continue on. 
Trying to keep that pressure on. Not the problem with the skill there. Let him use his R9. Just pocketing him. Slowing him down. Great tackle. Now we win the ball. Pick up the loose pass. Straight into transition. And now Deli Pele is terrible. And my keeper has just fallen down before he's even shot. I hope you saw that. What is my keeper doing here? What have I just seen? Throwing the game away from the inside. And all our hard work instantly undone by our goalkeeper that we cannot control. Play Fafana here. Lovely pass in. Lacazette letting us down. And again, a wonder save. <laughs> How do I get a goal in this game? Surely. Oh, this game's ridiculous. And this is what I mean. When your luck's in, you score. When your luck's not, what can you do there? You think he's got the best keeper in the world, whereas my keeper falls down nice and early for him to tap it in. We unfortunately lost the game. R9 being R9. Our goalkeeper throwing it away as well. But to be fair, Fofana got the job done, what he needed to do. What has happened here? Why can't we carry on? He has got what we needed him to do. He made so many good tackles in this game. What we will do now is we'll go jump onto Footbin. So let's come back now. So you can see here his statistics there. He made a lot of tackles won. In terms of passing, fantastic. 20 out of 22. Lovely shots across. Didn't really shoot with him too much. Possession, very, very good on dribbling. A little bit heavy. But when your opponent has this many shots that just fall into the back of the net, there isn't much I can do here. He's going to say he's had a lot of shots, but he had eight. He scored with 50% of his shots. I know you're thinking, oh, that's, you know, that's good. I had 17, which you saw at the end, and they just didn't go in. So you win some, you lose some. It doesn't really reflect on the review too much. But we can see here, Fofan is coming in about 100k, more or less, a bit over. I do like the card. I do think he's a little bit behind in terms of power curve because of his, his agility and balance, basically. Where he's got this high average body type, being six foot one, and that high agility and balance... He just feels extremely sloppy in heavy gameplay. That's what we had today. But his defensive work, his strength, his passing, absolutely fantastic. We went for the chem style that we went for today. It was basically to boost up what we did for him. And let me just see what that was. Which was a shadow as I just looked it up now. And he felt really, really fast on and off the ball. What I mean is that with the lengthiness. But when he's dribbling with the ball a little bit slow. If you need a CDM who's going to sit inside and just do all the defensive work and try and get you as many tackles as that possible, he's fantastic for it. But it all depends on the gameplay. We know how FIFA is. If you would have seen today, you would have known what I mean. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.